Hi guys, thanks for joining the channel. My name is Bob Kebab and I'm here today to talk a little bit about a brand new game that's come out, Starbase. Uh, it's entered early access and with it has come a whole host of uh, you know, growing pains and problems you'd imagine from a very early project, but also um, this brand new tech tree that was kind of thrown into the game and no one really knows how to kind of advance through it quickly. Um, so. So I decided to make a video today explaining how to quickly progress through the tech tree as well as a uh, couple of things that I found super helpful um, and you will too uh, while trying to upgrade and level up through the tech tree. So here we go. Also if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying to produce more content in Starbase now that the game's out in early access so um, I'd really appreciate that. Okay. so. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about the tech tree. As you can see, I'm a little bit further through it, uh, but the, so the tech tree can be pretty difficult to navigate through. Um, and the tutorial does an attempt at trying to explain how the tech tree works, and um, you just know that you'll get some of these research points, and then you'll have to have enough to purchase the next item on the list. Uh, but beyond that, it's not really explained. So the simplest way to get research points is by crafting and different blocks uh, and modules and crates and whatever they all have different values associated with them when you're building um, so what are those real quick let's go ahead and talk about the four types of research uh, that you can gain first just a disclaimer uh, i don't think they've added any sort of documentation at all about what these different categories are for research. Um, so I'm gonna be kind of going based on what I think they are, um, but there is no, as of recording, there is no official um, name for these. So the very first one here is this red square, uh, red cube, which is going to be um, your structural research. Uh, so this is kind of the backbone. Um, you'll use it for a lot of the things that you'll use to build ships. Um, so here, um, you can see that with the extra beams bundle later on, uh, this takes entirely research uh, from, from that category. So makes sense. Beams, structures, that checks out. Uh, next up, you have the power type. Um, also very self-explanatory. This is going to be for anything that kind of requires a power uh, component to build. Um, so stuff in the generators category or even the controls, tables and light screens, um, all of that's going to require uh, electrical power research as well. Um, next up, you have the shield, which I believe is just like a defense research type. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. You can use that for a lot of the weapons and defensive items in the game. So uh, here you can see the uh, tripod auto cannon is um, it uses a thousand of this research type um, and as you go further down the tree you'll see that it'll take more and more um, so when you craft weapons and items like that that's how you'll be generating those points so finally the last one here is going to be your mechanical or gear uh, research type and that's going to be pretty much anything for thing for, for things that are mechanical in nature so um, you know your thrusters are going to require that sort of work. Um, over here, a small propellant tank requires some of those components as well. Same with, same with your radiators. Um, and it's just going to be a, a demanded thing uh, throughout the tech tree. So, like I said before, uh, the way to get these points is through crafting. You can either go to the easy build hall, which is, as of right now, not recommended because you can bug your ship pretty easily by trying to slap things on in the easy build hall or you can go ahead and craft your own basic crafting bench which you can then slap onto your ship so for me uh, for usually what i do is when i'm trying to build a bunch of stuff um, i usually just spawn it out of my inventory and bolt it down to my ship real quick uh, and it'll spam my chat saying it has ship durability issues so just a heads up that's something you can do um, not the best, but it gets the job done. Uh, so basically, if you are trying to generate those research points, how do you do it? And is there a best route to do it? Well, I've got some answers. Uh, one, 
obviously if you haven't already to get into the crafting menu you're going to press H um, that is the default hotkey for it or if you just pop open your inventory it'll be at the top here in the crafting section um, once in there you're gonna be kind of overwhelmed because there's gonna be bunches of different things in there uh, plates uh, uh, cargo boxes who knows it, it's all based off of stuff that you've already unlocked through the tech tree um, for me I'm a little bit further so you can see I have a, a few more options humble brag but once you're in the crafting menu you can see there's a bunch of different options that drop from under these menus and uh, these tooltips can be very difficult or hard to like navigate and you're gonna be overwhelmed with options you're not gonna know which items are the best things to build thankfully there's a solution for that so thankfully, the good people over at Critical Mass Industries, I believe it's a faction within the game, um, they went ahead and created a Google Sheet that includes a lot of the top you know, first tier items uh, that you'll be building. Um, and it includes the recipes as well as the research points that are generated from crafting those things. So if we go into this real quick, uh, you can see one right at the top here created by them it also has a link to their discord so if you find this helpful and you want to be part of them uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and join there and show your support so in here there's going to be a lot of different things to look at uh, and for the most part these are like the first two or three tiers of research that you can unlock which is super helpful if you're watching this video and you need help so if we look through here what can we see well uh, you'll see a few different columns here at the start and we'll go ahead and talk about these first um, so the first one is total kv which i believe stands for total kilovoxels uh, basically how much inventory space uh, is taken up by the item that you're wishing to craft so obviously you're going to want to you know build things and some items may take more resources than others uh, so if we're looking uh, up at the top here a block of four ore crates is obviously going to be bigger uh, much larger than a basic one ore crate um, and you can kind of see that uh, not exactly four times as many but it's it's a lot more moving on um, the next column here is going to be total research and this basically shows combining those four different areas of research uh, how many points total do you get when you craft this? Uh, this is a measure that, you know, so the next column is total research and you can kind of have your own opinion on this, but uh, it takes the total number of research points across all four of the research areas and just adds them up into one number. That may not be the most helpful if you really needed the structural research type more so than power or me mechanical. Um, but this is a pretty good indicator just showing how useful crafting a certain item is um, So at the very least you'll be getting a bunch of points uh, if you build this one or that one um, And then finally This is the main thing of the video, which is the efficiency um, so It's hard to get an idea exactly of what the most efficient or the best bang for your buck is on these certain items to craft uh, so this column here shows it's just a real simple division problem where you take the points that you get from an item and you divide it out by the um, total kilovoxels or total material that goes into building it and these are all sorted in this column here I will note that this list produced by critical mass industries does not reflect the best items and I'll, I'll point that out in a little bit but um, in here it's a little bit it's color-coded to at least highlight some of the better options and then uh, also highlight some of the worst options in the categories um, so here you can see that the block of four ore crates is going to be the uh, heaviest item it's going to require the most items in this whole thing um, while the basic X and Z 
uh, plates will require the least amount of materials, which makes sense. And then you can also see which one has the best in terms of total research and not. The rest of the columns in here show the rest of the resources required to build these items. Um, and then at the very end, I don't know why they hid this um, or just made it a little bit harder to find, but um, at the very end, you can see the research that is produced by crafting that item. Um, so that's what's used for the efficiency calculation as well as the, the total research. Um, so you can go through here and, and quickly see which item's good, which one item's bad. I went ahead and sorted through this list and you can do it too. Go to the, should be a maintenance sheet on the bottom. Uh, this has the most up-to-date values as well as a couple of additional items on the list. So if you go in there and you select the, or if you select row five all the way down through uh, the bottom of the list and then click data, sort range and you're going to want to sort from z to a because this will put the highest number at the top and then you'll sort by efficiency and with this it actually produces a result that's a little bit different than what's highlighted on here even though it doesn't have the blue highlight on it the best item to research at the very start is the modular ore crate once you've unlocked the cargo crate research um, this is what you're going to want to focus on for a while uh, it's very good in terms of getting you electrical points as well as mechanical um, and definitely those structural. I think most of the early research relies on those structural points. So this will help you quickly do that um, while also giving you a, a reliable source of the uh, electrical research. So with this research or what this calculation, sh so what this calculation shows is that for every one uh, kv one kilovoxel you put in you're going to get about 0.88 research out of it which is pretty cool so what this shows is that the best thing to build is the cargo crate um, and then later on the extension corner three ore crates um, and so on kind of up to you on how you want to do this uh, there's not one easy way whatsoever um, and if you go into here you can see that the extension ore crate has about triple of the resources required as well as triple of the um, research rewarded. The first thing you're going to want to do once you get past the cargo box is you're going to want to get the fuel rods unlocked. Um, as you've been flying around or you might have seen in the chat in the game, a lot of uh, new players don't know what to do once their ship fuel rod is completely burnt out. Um, it's kind of uh, unintuitive uh, you might not be able to find it easily but each starter ship does have four extra ones in the back uh, so just kind of fumble around back there and see if you can find it um, but once you've unlocked that uh, you'll be able to craft them at the very least and and have that sense of security if you do manage to blow through all of your fuel rods and then we look over to thrusters this also produces a bunch of cool items that you'll use to you know slap on your ship and make your your labor a little bit faster or off balance or just ruin it who knows um, and then generators also have some cool stuff in here um, that that really help you push down the line in the tech tree uh, they have a lot of big items in here cool so we have the top items now in terms of efficiencies we know that the extension corners are super good as well as the just modular or cargo crates are very good as well. Um, so what do we do with that information? One, we're just gonna build a ton of them. Uh, so I would just recommend building a ton of the modular crates uh, cause you can slap those onto your ship and um, you know, be able to use that while mining. Uh, but also uh, it's the best one uh, based on that sheet that we just saw. Once you've built up all of your stuff, uh, one thing you can do um, is at a certain point you're going to be rocking with about 30 of these cargo crates in your inventory and it's going to get messy um, so what do you do once you've approached that that limit in your inventory you're going to want to go to the auction house uh, and it's going to be just across from the easy build hall uh, and you're going to want to go into the auction house to quick sell all of the items that you just crafted um, so you don't actually have to be here, but if you want to quick sell the components and items that you've actually crafted, you do. Um, the easiest way to get into the auction house menu is by pressing comma on your uh, keyboard. 
and uh, in here it'll take you to the area where you can buy everything you want whether it be armor uh, tools reloadable tools weapons ammo all of the stuff parts for your ship and, and also ore very important part um, you can do all of that through here and um, you can purchase and sell just fine but if you're trying to quick sell to the NPCs and, and get your money back you can do that here um, and it's not gonna be at this first menu but the second one uh, in the area oh my god so basically as you go through and you build all of your items what you're gonna want to do is get into this storage area here um, here you'll see all of the items that you've crafted all of your cargo crates they sell for about 257 uh, if you get the modular single ore crate just sell them here and recoup some of your money so you can purchase more ore or purchase some propellant or what have you uh, to get further down that tech tree so i hope this video was helpful for you uh, if you enjoyed it please uh, give it a like as well as maybe a comment if you're interested in uh, finding out maybe a guide to the best items uh, for each tier you know if you're interested in that sort of content drop, drop some opinions down below um, and also uh, if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more from me please uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button it means a lot um, I'm going to be trying to produce a lot more star based content as this game has just now entered early access and we'll be able to get things done. So thanks for joining and hope to see you guys back.